Energy is very important when you're dealing with your horse. Your horse can pick up energy from all sorts of different places in the environment and people and objects. It's very important that we have a calm, cool, confident, but also an alpha leadership energy when we're working with our horse. They need leadership from us. If they get in a situation where we don't provide that leadership, they can be fearful and they, they need confidence from an outside source. So they pull that confidence from us. Contact is a steady conversation with your horse, whether it's your halter, your legs, your reins. It's a steady conversation. Pressure is when we turn up the volume and we need our horse to make changes. So that's the two differentiating factors between pressure and contact. Pressure means the horse should be changing something and contact means good job, you found the answer. We also need to talk about release. Release is very important when we start working with a horse and all through their career. Release tells the horse that he has answered our puzzle correctly. Release is very important in formulas because he needs to figure out the answer to the puzzle I've presented. And if I don't make it clear the answer, he cannot build on that puzzle I've presented. The first exercise I want him to do is I'm gonna apply pressure to the lead rope underneath his halter, and I want him to give to that pressure and lower his head. This comes in very handy for haltering, bridling, and anything you wanna do with their, their face. So a couple ways to hold your hands. Depends on where you're at with the progression in this exercise. You can just take your thumb and forefinger on that knot underneath their jaw, okay? You can have your pinky up, on the lead rope or your hand thumb up on the lead rope whatever's the most comfortable for you i'm going to work first this way so i put pressure on and i wait for him when he gives i release if he puts his head back up i'm going to start again right away and if he really puts his head up i keep that pressure on until he comes back down then i release Pressure, release. So my ultimate goal is I wanna put his nose down around my knees and be able to stand up and he chooses to stay there on his own. And if he puts his head up, I'll make that correction because that's my formula is I want him down here. That's really good. Ask him to go just a little bit lower. If he wants to sniff the ground, that's okay with me too, because the whole goal of the activity is just for him to have his head lower than me. I also believe this is a, a, a sign of respect. He's standing here relaxed and he is head lower than me. So one more. Nice. Oh, he put it up, let's fix him. This takes a lot of time and a lot of correction, but that's what training horses is all about. Is making those corrections and being consistent and diligent with our corrections. When I do this, um, exercise with horses, I really find their energy starts to change. They start to relax. They start to get very, um, almost sleepy. Okay. There we go. And you can see he wants to move. This horse is young, so he has lots of things he wants to watch and pay attention to. Pressure, release. Okay, and I don't want to do this too long. I want him to get the point and then we're going to move on.
Very nice. I'm going to start asking his feet to move in different places. So my first check-in, I'm gonna take this left hand and I'm gonna ask him to back up with this pressure, same pressure I put on the knot under the halter, but instead of going down, I'm gonna go backwards, okay? I'm just literally putting one finger on the knot and just asking him to be nice and soft and back away from that pressure. So he's really starting to think about following that pressure. So I'm very clear, pressure, release. 